and therapy by Lucy. This is a channel where we talk about food, good nutrition, and health. Thank you for your support, for always watching my videos, liking, commenting, and even subscribing to this channel. I am so grateful. But if you are here for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button, the red button. So today I want us to discuss about low hemoglobin level. How you can boost a low hemoglobin level with the right nutrition, with the right diet and to do so we are going to make a a, a juice and we are going to use the the beetroots i have the watermelon and i have the the lemon and some few pieces of oranges globin is a protein that is found in the red blood cells that is very necessary to carry the oxygen all around your body so this means if you have low hb levels some parts of your body will have oxygen deficit there are so many reasons why you can have low hb levels and some of the reasons is low iron stores maybe heavy menses in ladies accident and injuries where you get to lose a lot of blood you can have vitamin c deficiency for vitamin c because vitamin c is needed in how it needed to absorb the iron then there can be excess blood loss maybe after a surgical operation or a surgical procedure so there are so many reasons why you can have a low hb levels those are just a few examples of it hb levels can lead to anemia and some of the signs and symptoms of anemia are dizziness you can have shortness of breath fatigue weakness among others so you are going to make a juice and why i have chosen some of these some of these ingredients one the beetroots they are good source of vitamin c folate iron and potassium vitamin c like i have explained is very necessary in the absorption of iron then also apart from i can give you maybe some other health benefits of beetroots beetroots they have a low glycemic index meaning the juice that you are going to prepare it's diabetic friendly a diabetic person can enjoy it very comfortably because it has a low glycemic index meaning that the juice cannot it can't maybe spike the blood sugars and also it helps to lower the beetroots they help to lower the high blood pressure this is because they are the beetroots they are very high in potassium that is necessary to lower a high blood pressure and the oranges the oranges and the lemon these i have chosen them because they are good sources of vitamin c so let's go direct to making our juice you're going to blend it and see can take it that way but you can always strain the juice Just training it to make sure that I squeeze all the juice.
then for the oranges for the oranges and, and lemon i'm not going to to blend them but rather i'm going to strain the juice if you have a juicer you can use it but if you don't you can always do it manually easier so this is our this is the juice the lemon and orange so now we can add we can add the beetroot juice we just add it And this is our beetroot juice that you can make it very easy, simple ingredients that you can use it if you have low HB levels. And also if you you can just enjoy it, don't wait for you to maybe to be diagnosed with anemia or HB levels for you to make such juice. You can always enjoy it anytime, any day. And the juice is, is very is suitable for expectant mothers. For mothers, you know, you need enough hb levels postpartum after giving birth when giving birth you lose a lot of blood so this juice can be suitable for postpartum mothers and also after a surgical procedure you can have the juice and also for the ladies during that that time of the month during your menses you can enjoy this juice to replenish the lost blood and maybe some of the behaviors you should consider changing if you have anemia or low hb levels is avoid drinking tea coffee milk and milk product just before after or with milk because this may reduce the absorption and even assimilation of the iron from the food the food is here chai kwaapa maybe that's one of the behavior you should consider maybe changing because the caffeine the nicotine calcium they interfere with the iron absorption so those are just a few behaviors that you should consider changing and also you can include lean red meat in your diet because the red meat they are they have him iron which is very it's highly absorbable in our body and also you can incorporate the green leafy vegetables these are managu terere all those kunde the traditional veggies they are high in and him iron also we need it in our body then you can take liver once in a while but it's good to note that when you when you are cooking your liver avoid cooking it maybe i can usipike maini then you uongeze the spinach because the oxalates the phytates they will interfere with the iron in the liver and liver is a it's very high in iron but when you mix it with with spinach, the oxalate and phytates, they can interfere with iron absorption. Then also note that even though you need high, high hemoglobin levels during pregnancy, liver is an ozone for pregnant moms. So for moms, you can enjoy the, the lean red meat once in a while. You can make such a juice. You can take the green leafy vegetables alongside your iron and folate supplements, but liver is an ozone for you that's all for now i hope you've learned something one way of boosting your hemoglobin level you can always make such a juice make sure you give this video a like comment you can share turn on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you get notified and most importantly please subscribe to this channel nutrition therapy by lucy for more nutrition tips education and counseling thank you